Okay. Well, good evening, South Africa. And I'm so excited that so many people can join us uh, this evening. And uh, tonight we are going to be doing the first of many, many um, uh, prayer practicals. Okay. And this is how it's going to work. Um, we are going to uh, get individuals to come and pray. Okay. So if you're part of the prayer school, you are welcome to come and join. And you've got yourself one minute slot and we are going to pray. You can pray for whatever's on your heart. And uh, and so as the um, the people and the public start praying, I'm going to ask you, if you're watching via Facebook tonight, just to join in. Stand in agreement, whatever they're praying over. Okay. So I, as soon as they pray, I'm going to trust God for the supernatural to happen. So I'm going to ask. Uh, immediately of the guys that are live here on um, on Zoom, if you could just start putting up your hands if you'd like to uh, kickstart that while I just uh, pray the first prayer and we are going to get going. Father, right now in the name of Jesus, Father, we come before you. We thank you, Lord, for your word. We thank you that you love us so much. But Lord, right now in the mighty name of Jesus, I thank you for a supernatural move of your spirit across our nation. Lord, I thank you for each and every person that is going to stand in the gap tonight that is going to pray, that is going to stand up and make a difference. Father, I pray right now in the name of Jesus that you are going to not only use them, but God, I pray that as we pray, as the body of Christ, as individuals across this nation, Lord, I pray that as we stand in agreement, we will see the power of God move across our nation, across our homes, across our businesses and in our neighborhoods. In Jesus' mighty name. And everybody said, amen and amen. All right. So I see that Luigi is ready. Awesome. Let's pray. Thank you, Father, that we can come together in prayer tonight. Your word says in 1 Corinthians 1 verse 10, says here, I appeal to you, brothers and sisters, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that all of you agree with one another in what you say and what you hear, be no division among you, but that you be perfectly united in one mind and one thought. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen. All right, so there we go. We stand in agreement. We stand united. All right, so I just want to just check. Uh, Linda, Linda Wallace, are you ready to go? Yes, Dr. Frost. For the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Romans 6, verse 23. Father God, we come to you in the name of Jesus and we ask, Lord, that the people that have not accepted you as their Lord and Savior, that the people out there, your saints, that we go out and reach other people and bring them to the kingdom. But through Jesus and the Holy Spirit, we thank this in Jesus Christ's sake's name. Thank you, Father God. Amen. Amen and amen. Well, let's just pray right now. I want to just pray for families right now, just while uh, we're waiting. Please remember the folks that are on uh, the live feed, please put up your hands so that I can see you are. Okay. So as soon as you are ready to pray and you're ready to go, please just put up your hands and I will give you the cue. But let's just pray for families. Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, I pray for the families. Father, I pray for blessing. And Lord, I thank you right now that you are going to do something supernatural in each family in Jesus' name. Father, I thank you, Lord, that the anointing of God will be upon each and every one in Jesus' mighty name. And Lord, I thank you right now that not only are the families blessed, but God, we are going to see a major move in the family so that destiny and purpose will come in the name of Jesus. And everybody said, amen and amen. All right, Gus, are you ready? You up next. Father, we want to thank you that your word says that you who began a good work in us will be faithful to bring it to completion. Father, we want to thank you for the work that you're doing in us as individuals, as families, and as a church, as your body. We want to thank you that you will complete the good work that you start in us. Thank you, Father. Amen. Amen. Lord, we thank you for the good work that you started in us. Lord, we claim that to be into a place of fulfillment in, in, in Jesus' name. All right. I thank you, Lord, that you are going to do something amazing in our lives. Lord, that we will look back over our own lives, Lord, that we won't even recognize ourselves. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we stand in agreement today. 
in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, Josh, are you ready? Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for your word says, though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. We thank you, Lord, that we can cast down every imagination against us and our families we, and every high thing that exalteth itself against the knowledge of you, Heavenly Father, our God in heaven, and bring it into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. We thank you, Lord, for your word, and we thank you that it is a weapon against the enemy. In Jesus Christ, amen. Amen and amen. All right. We're standing in the gap in Jesus' name. We are standing in agreement in the name of Jesus. Amen. Okay, Francis, you're up next. It says here, are you weary, carrying a heavy burden? Then come to me. And I'll refresh your life, for I am your oasis. Simply join your life with mine. Learn my ways and you'll discover that I'm gentle, humble, easy to please. And you will find refreshment and rest in me. For all that I, I require of you will be pleasant and easy to bear. Thank you, Father, that you are there. You're our source. You're the center of our well-being. And thank you that we come to today, this evening, to you for a refreshment. Thank you, Lord Jesus, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Lord, we just thank you for that refreshment in Jesus' name. And Lord, that you are our source. Lord, we stand in agreement tonight in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we thank you, Lord, for your word. We thank you for the promises that have been given us. And Lord, I know that we are going to pull together and stand together in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. amen. All right. I don't know if it's Reno or Chris, but what are you are up? Right. Oh, Lord, mighty in power. Your word says that the weapons given to us have a divine power to demolish strongholds. Amen. We pray that every stronghold that has risen up against us shall be demolished in Jesus' mighty name. We demolish every unfamiliar spirit that aims to hinder church growth. We pray for church growth. We pray that we call to you. You will show us the hidden things about our churches that we did not know. Father, That he who is in us is Amen. Amen. I'll also go to Matthew 25, verses um, 34. And then the king will say to those on his right hand, Come, you who are blessed by my father, inherit the kingdom, prepare for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry and you gave me food, and I was thirsty and you gave me drink. I was a stranger and you welcomed me. I was naked and you clothed me. I was sick and you visited me. I was in prison and you came to me. Then the righteous were answering, saying, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you or thirsty and give you drink? And when did you see you a stranger and welcome you or naked and clothe you? And when did we see you sick or in prison and visit you? And the king will answer them, truly, I say to you, as you did it to one of these least of these, my brothers, you did it to me. Thank you, Father, that when we reach out to others next to us, our next door neighbor, whoever we see, the next of kin, Father, we do it also to you. Thank you that we inherit the kingdom of, of heaven. Amen. Amen. Lord, we just thank you that as we stand in agreement, Lord, that we will reach out for others around us. Lord, that we will see the need, that we will not bypass it. But Lord, that we will genuinely just be there in the name of Jesus. We stand in agreement with these prayers tonight in the name of Jesus. All right, Colette, you're up. Can you hear me now? Hello. Yes, we can. can you hear me? It's uh, 2 Peter 3, verse 9. The Lord is not slow about his promise, as some count slowness, but is patient towards you, 
not wishing for any to perish, but for all to come to repentance. Lord, we come to you, Lord. There are so many out there who do not know you, Father God, because you have sent your only begotten son to die for the world, Lord. We ask you, Father God, to reach out to them by your Holy Spirit, to convict them of their sins, Lord. We pray, Lord, that you will draw them to you by your Holy Spirit. Many of us still have family members that are not uh, saved, Lord. We thank you that you will save them, Lord. Father God, you don't want any to perish, but all to come to everlasting life. We ask that in the precious name of your son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Lord, we thank you that we can stand in agreement that not one will perish in Jesus' name. And Lord, that everyone will come to know you. Father, we release that word over our nation and over our world. In Jesus' name. Amen. Jesus name. All right. Amen. Amen. Vanessa, you're up. Uh, good evening. Can you hear me? Yeah. Um, it's Ephesians 2 verse 10. For we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus for good works which God prepared beforehand so that we should walk in them. Father God, we thank you that you have plans to bless us. You have plans to prosper us and not to harm us, plans with a hope and a future. And we ask, Father, that you will anoint us and strengthen us, give us wisdom and uh, insight and strategy, Lord, so that we can apply ourselves to be your ambassadors in this world, that we will bring the light of Christ to the darkness in this world, that we will speak truth, Lord, in love. And we pray, Father, that you give us boldness to stand firm on your word. And we ask us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Father, we thank you that we can stand in agreement for that boldness. Lord, that we can genuinely be bold and we can stand solid on your word. We thank you for that in the name of Jesus. Amen. All right, Flora. Okay, Flora, we can't hear you yet. You're still muted. Heavenly Father, we come to you tonight, O oh Lord God, because we trust in you, in you alone, O oh Lord God. You said, call unto me and I will answer you and I will show you great and mighty things that you you do not know. Lord, we know you're faithful. We know that you will meet, O oh Lord God, and every promise that we have received from you, O oh Lord God, we know you will bring it to pass, O oh Lord God. We give you honor, praise, and we give you all of the glory for who you are, for what you are doing, and what you are still going to do in this nation, O oh Lord God. All praise, honor, and glory be yours. Amen. Amen. Lord, we just thank you that as the body of Christ, we can stand in agreement. Lord, your word is very clear with you more agree upon one thing that shall be done. And Lord, we just thank you that as these prayers are going up, Lord, that we can stand in agreement and we can see the blessing and the power of God be made manifest across our nation. Amen and amen. All right, amen. Charmaine, you're up. Good evening, everybody. I want to share um, Ephesians 3.20. Now to him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that work in us. Heavenly Father, we come to you in the name of Jesus Christ as our Lord, as our Savior, and the Holy Spirit who is our helper. And Lord, tonight we're standing in the gap for South Africa. We thank you that we can be used. Um, help us to be the hands and feet of Jesus Christ. You said I have the same power that has raised Jesus Christ lives in you and you can move with that same power. And Lord, tonight we ask that you will bring revival into small groups, into small churches, wherever it is. Um, I just speak of Angus Buckham who, <clears throat> who spoke um, in Krugersdorp a week ago. Lord, thank you. Thank you for the gathering of the saints and thank you for what you are going to do in our land. We trust you completely in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Lord, we just thank you that as the body of Christ, we can stand in unity. We can stand in agreement in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. All right. 
Karen, you have next. Okay, Karen, you're still muted. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Okay. Um, uh, two, I'm praying two Thessalonians uh, um, 3 verse 16. Now may the Lord of peace himself grant you his peace at all times and in every way. That peace and spiritual well-being that comes to those who walk with him regardless of life's circumstances. The Lord be with you. And I pray this, Lord. I pray that everyone will turn their eyes and keep their eyes and their trust in the Lord. And that the supernatural peace of the Holy Spirit fill us. That it doesn't matter what the circumstances are, Lord, because you give the victory, Lord. And we have this peace of you in our lives. And I thank you, Lord. I thank you for this wonderful, wonderful promise of you and uh, that we can see it in our lives and that we will also be a testimony so that others can see it. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I pray it in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Father, we thank you, Lord, that we can mm -hmm. genuinely be a testimony for you in Jesus' mm -hmm. name. Amen. All right, Teresa, you up. Lord, we come to you tonight and we quote Ecclesiastes 3. For everything in life, there is a season. Father, we bless those who are going through the good season. And we also ask you to help and assist those going through the seasons that are much tougher. And we pray for our brethren, Father, for each and every one of them, and for every parent on this group who has unsafe children, Father. We ask in the name of Jesus that you pull them near to you. We have sown the seeds, Father. We have done our best. And we need the workers to convert them. And we thank you in the name of Jesus Christ, Father, for your mercy and your love. Amen. Lord, we just thank you that your word is very clear that we need to pray for the laborers. Father, I pray that this will be a season, that this that the laborers will come up in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. All right, folks, I just want to just let you know that uh, this might be a little bit strange for you as it's our first time that we're doing this type of thing. We're just letting the public pray. And we are going to stand in agreement that I can't wait to see this thing develop. You have no idea the power that's already been released tonight as people pray. And, you know, some people think that, oh, well, I mean, you know, I'm in a small town or somewhere that you know, I'm irrelevant. Let me tell you something. Your words are powerful. All right. So that is the whole idea of the uh, prayer school so that we could get taught how to pray and then we're going to practice. And so we're going to do this more and more. And so uh, I'm going to come on and take the, the feeds and we are going to pray and we're going to learn how to pray. And Janine will take some feeds and we're going to pray because I believe that God is going to do something through the body and we are going to have massive prayer meetings still. Amen. All right. So we've got about another 15 minutes that uh, we're going to go. So firstly, I'm going to just ask uh, Colette if you could just un, um, take your hand down. And so I'm going to ask anybody who has prayed before, I know that this is new and everybody's a little bit nervous on the first round. This is the first time we're doing it like this. Okay, that's fine. So what I'm going to ask is, is that if you would like to pray again, you felt that, that you have confidence, you can, you can prepare, you just put up your hand. We know how the system works now and we are going to stand in agreement. All right. And those that are watching on Facebook are standing in agreement with you as you are praying. And so I want you to know that this is going out all over the nation and we are praying these prayers over our nation and we are believing God for the supernatural. All right. So as soon as you are ready to pray another round, um, I want you quickly just to put up your hand and we're going to hand over to you as soon as you're ready. Okay. So as soon as you're ready, just raise your hand and then we can go. All right. Francis. Okay. Francis, you're up okay. next. John and 15 verse 9, I love each of you with the same love that the Father loves me. You must continually let my love nourish your hearts. 
And if you keep my commandments, you will live in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commands, for I continually live nourished and empowered by his love. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus, for such an example. And may we carry on living it out in our walk where we are right now. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Lord, we just thank you that we can follow your example in everything that we do. Amen. All right. Uh, Rooney, uh, you guys got it at Sean Rooney. Yes. I know that's not your name. I can't remember your first name. It's fine. It's Wendy Lee. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Lord, thank you that we can come together tonight just to, as the body of Christ, Lord, that you are busy raising up in South Africa. Father, we want to give you praise and honor and glory. And we want to declare Psalm 95, verse 2, that says, Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving. Let us shout joyfully to him with psalms. Verse 3 says, For the Lord is the great God and the great King above all gods. And Lord, tonight we declare that over our nation. We declare that over South Africa. And we thank you, Lord. We come with thankful hearts for the work that you are doing through each and every one of us, Lord. We speak that and we declare that in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Lord, we just thank you that our nation is going to be blessed. And Lord, that we are going to prosper. Lord, we stand in agreement with every single one of these prayers tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, Rosemary. Um, thank you, Lord, for 1 Peter 2, verse 24. Jesus bore our sins in his body on the tree. Therefore, we are dead to sin, but alive unto God. And by his stripes, we are healed and made whole. Mm. Yes. And Father, we thank you for, because your word, um, we are overcomers. And we've overcome the world, the flesh, and, and, the, and the devil by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony. Mm. Thank you that you have given us abundant life, and we receive that life through your word, Lord. Thank you. In Jesus' name, and through your grace. <laughs> amen, amen. Lord, we just thank you that you love us so much. And mm. Lord, that you love us so much that you're not going to leave us where we are. And Lord, I thank you that we are going to grow in you, and we are going to change. And Lord, we are going to do what you've called us to do. Amen. 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 All right. Luigi, you up. Yes. Awesome. Thank you. Um, your word says in John 15, verse 4. Thank you, Francis, for starting with verse 9. Abide in me and I abide in you. As a nation, South Africa, let us draw closer to our Father. Let's abide in him and, we, and he will abide in us. As the branches cannot bear fruit of itself unless he, we abide in the vine. Neither can you unless you abide in me. So, Father God, we stand in unity. We stand as servants, servant, servant-hearted um, prayer warriors, that we stand in the word, Father, that we are pulled in to, to do your kingdom purpose, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Amen. Sorry. Lord, I thank you that you're going to raise up mighty prayer warriors across our nation. Lord, that just in the average home, every single one of us are meant to pray. And we're supposed to be standing in the gap for our families and neighborhoods. But God, I pray that we are going to raise up solid prayer warriors across this nation. Amen and amen. All right, Karen, you're up. Okay, I'm praying Matthew 11, verse 28 to 30. Then Jesus said, Come to me, all you are who are weary and carry heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you. Let me teach you, because I am humble and gentle at heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy to bear, and the burden I give is light. And I pray for everyone who is very heavy burdened, I pray that they will come to Jesus and uh, let him give you rest and peace and teach you how to be completely to trust in Jesus and um, just uh, to lift that heavy burden off of you and experience the peace and the, the rest that is in Jesus. I pray it in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. 
Lord, I thank you that our burden is going to be easy. Father, that we will not carry it ourselves. And Lord, that we will genuinely learn to give it to you in Jesus' name. Father, I thank you for your blessing over our nation. Amen and amen. All right, Zosh. Heavenly Father, we serve you with gladness. Your word says, make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know that ye, the Lord, is God. It is he that has made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his holy name. For the Lord is good. His mercy, ever, his mercy is everlasting and his truth endureth to all generations. Heavenly Father, I thank you in the name of Jesus Christ that even if I'm not in South Africa, Lord, I thank you that there's no distance in the spirit. I thank you, Lord, that we all serve you and we're all glad. We, I thank you, Lord, that we have joy in knowing you. I thank you, Lord, that we can come together in this time, in this moment, and praise you and give you thanks. And as we sing hallelujah, 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 we thank you in advance for all the things that you are about to do, the things that you are doing, the things that you have done for South Africa. We praise your holy name in Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen and amen. Okay, Linda. reading from Romans 8, verse 38 and 39. For I am persuaded that neither death nor life, nor angels nor principalities shall be able to separate us from the love of God. Heavenly Father, we come to you in the name of Jesus. And at this time, Lord, when we are going through difficult times, knowing that we are not separating we are not separated from you, but Lord, that you are taking us through the season. You are carrying us at that stage, Lord. We are not alone. And that's where we see the footprints that you are carrying us, that you've not forgotten about us. I thank you for this, Lord Jesus. I thank you for so many people that are ill, that they must know that they are not alone, Lord Jesus, but you are taking them through it. And we will become stronger because you are the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And thank you, Father God, for loving us first. Thank you, Jesus. Amen and amen. Lord, we just thank you that you chose us. We didn't choose you. Lord, that you just love us so much in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, Kayleen. We read from Isaiah 55, verse 11. So is my word that goes out from my mouth. It will not return to me empty, but will accomplish what I desire and achieve the purpose for which I send it. Father God, tonight we come before your throne of mercy and grace. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that we can rise up as prayer warriors, Lord, and stand in the gap for our nation. Lord Jesus, that we thank you that you love us, that you love every single person that you died for us. You came in to give us life and life and abundance, Lord. So we call upon your name and we ask you, mighty God, that you bring blessing and peace and joy in our nation. Save our nation, Lord. Touch every person, Lord. Let them do what you want us, want us to do, Lord Jesus. Father God, we give you all the glory and all the praise. And we say thank you, Lord, that you have good things for us. Good promises for us, Lord Jesus. Thank you that we can stand upon your word. Thank you for the weapons of warfare that you have given us, Lord. And thank you, Lord Jesus, that we can trust in you. Thank you that we know that we know that we know you are the true and almighty God. We praise you, Lord, and we give you all the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen and amen. All right, Teresa. Lord, we come to you tonight with Luke 10, verse 27. You must love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, all your strength, and all your mind, and love your neighbor as yourself. And Father, in our endeavors to do this, we pray in the name of Jesus that the Holy Spirit will assist us and also prod us when we're not doing the wrong, the, the right thing, Father. And Father, I ask for, for everybody who has a petition to you, Father, please hear us in the name of Jesus Christ. 
We love you. We trust you. We believe in you. We have faith in you. And we worship you. And we are in awe of you, Lord. We thank you for that. Amen. Amen and amen. All right, Gus. Father, we just want to bring all those who are sick before you. We want to thank you that your word says that you're for us and not against us. We want to thank you that your word says that no one will be able to stand against us all the days of our life. We want to thank you, Lord, that you said that by your stripes we are healed. We want to thank you, Lord, that you sent your word and you healed our diseases. Therefore, Lord, we want to thank you that overwhelming victory is ours through Christ Jesus, especially over sickness and death. We praise you that you've destroyed the work of the devil. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen and amen. All right, folks. I think that uh, we're going to wrap that up for tonight. And I want to want to just say something. All right, I want to say thank you very much to um, uh, uh, Pastor um, who has really been uh, taking the school and teaching a lot. And I'm sure that everybody's learned something by now. But I want to just say this, that the purpose of the school is to train you to pray to train you to stand up and go and do what God has called us to do. And I think that this is amazing. This is not for the top prayer warriors and the top intercessors. This is for each and every one. Now, you saw this is the first time everybody's nervous. We're getting used to this whole idea. But I'm telling you now, give it a few times, and I will be so busy with the amount of people who are actually going to be praying. But this is what we want. We want the nation to learn how to pray. This is what it is. This is why this is prayer school. And so we're going to pray and we're going to stand together and we are going to believe God. We're going to see God do some amazing things. All right. But when we pray, I'm just asking that we stand in agreement. Let's believe God that every scripture, everything that is prayed, that we call that out over our nation. And remember that you are agreeing with me, but you're all over the place. Everybody's agreeing all over the place. And so I'm really excited about this. Amen. So uh, I just want to just say for those on Facebook, I'm, I'm just really glad that you could join us. And please get ready. If you would like to come and pray next time, just be on the lookout for when we do these pracs. Um, I'm going to do them more often. And um, Janine is also going to be doing uh, some of the pracs. And so I want you to get ready for this because it's going to be an awesome, awesome time. Amen.